What's up guys, JV2017 here bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. This time I have a super effective get rich quick kind of scheme for those of you running low on caps or you just want a ton of caps, this will work for you. And just a quick reminder guys, this is your number one hub for Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Another heads up, I will be uploading another video later tonight because I was sick yesterday and unable to upload my daily Fallout 4 video, so I'm making up for that by uploading two videos today, so don't miss my next one later tonight. On to the topic of this video, today I'm going to show you how to make an absurd amount of caps. I'm talking like more than 3,000 caps per hour. This is an insane method. First, what you want to do is find a settlement, and any settlement that has water will work, but try to find one with plenty of water. Sanctuary is the one that I recommend. You find it very early in the game, and it has plenty of water room to, you know, take advantage of this method. Once you've found a suitable location, you're going to want to build industrial water purifiers, which is the last kind of water-based item that produces water, and this actually requires science rank one, which is at intelligence six. So you're going to want to think about that. You can obviously build the lower ones, but you know, this is going to be the most efficient, most effective thing to build. So I just built three with my test, but you can build more than three. I went after I did my test in the gameplay of this video and built like seven or eight and it was fine. So you can build a lot more than just three and then you need to connect them to medium generators because each one requires five power and medium generators create five power each. So each one's going to need their own dedicated medium generator. And in terms of crafting, the purifiers require four oil, two ceramic, 10 rubber, four copper, 20 steel, four cloth, and six screws each. So it's a little, you know, material intensive, but these individual materials are not too hard to find. The generators cost three screws, three gears, seven steel, three rubber, three copper, and one ceramic. So Really, what we're doing here is we're building these to generate purified water, and that purified water will show up at our workbench once it generates that purified water. So obviously this doesn't happen immediately. We have to pass the time in order for these purifiers to generate that purified water. So what I recommend is just explore the Commonwealth. You know, do a quest that you haven't done yet. Just get out of your, you know, settlement workshop area and go do something. And also I tried waiting. It does not work. Neither does fast traveling. So. I went and did a quick quest. Maybe it took me about 30 minutes to an hour and then came back, but I also tried waiting for a full 24 hours in my settlement. It did not work. There was no production. I also tried fast traveling to Diamond City and back from Sanctuary. There was no production either. So you can't just, you know, pass the time really quickly. You have to go out and do something in the game that actually advances the game time while you're doing something. Once you've passed that time, return to your settlement and then go to the workshop and collect that purified water it's going to be under the aid category in the workbench. So you click X to transfer and then go to aid and there it will be. You should see a pretty good amount depending on how many, you know, purifiers you built. And of course, next we're going to sell it. That's how you get all of the caps. Now, here's some important notes here. Obviously, the higher the charisma you have, the more caps you will get per bottle. And also the cap collector perk helps big time. I made a save game and then I put two points into cap collector for the maximum amount. And basically, Max Charisma, I already had it, will give you 10 caps per bottle. And Max Charisma with Cap Collector Rank 2 will give you 13 caps per bottle. It doesn't sound like a huge difference, but that's 30% more caps. That is huge when you are selling a bunch of these caps, and you'll be selling a ton of you know purified water bottles by the time this is said and done. There will be so many in your workbench that you'll just be selling them, and it'll be hard to find people to sell to because a lot of people don't have a bunch of caps, so I would recommend going to Diamond City. Uh, you can sell to your own you know store vendors like I did, but kind of go around you know the Commonwealth to sell off your purified water. And you may be wondering, JV, I just increased my water resource a ton by making these. And there is a defense problem. When you do create these giant purifiers, it will increase the water that is produced by that settlement. It will skyrocket it. And also as a result, that'll increase the defense requirement. As we know, and I was incorrect in my last video, I corrected it in the comments below. Basically your defense requirement is calculated by your food plus your water generated. And because you've put so many purifiers, that increases your water resource and thus increases your defense requirement. 
a ton, which should mean that you will be attacked by raiders. And I don't know if your you know defense requirement is huge, if that increases the difficulty of these attacks. I don't have extensive research or testing on this, but I haven't seen people complain and say they've had huge issues by you know making all these purifiers and having that defense you know requirement. And who knows, maybe you could make a bunch of missile turrets. They provide 15 defense each, but they have a two power requirement. So that's gonna require a lot of pretty good materials to make. But if you only make three you know, industrial water purifiers, you can easily cover that defense requirement with those missile turrets. But if you go beyond three, it just kind of gets ridiculous and your defense requirement will be huge. But let me know when you guys try this method if you're running into any raider troubles. I'm gonna keep these water, uh, obviously, industrial purifiers on my settlement and see how they work out and see if I get attacked and I will report back to you guys if I'm having any issues. One final note, generally I don't like to show exploits or hacks on my channel. I would characterize this method as cheesy because we know Bethesda didn't intend for this to be in the game but it's totally within the confines of the rules and we're not exploiting any faulty code or anything. Bethesda wanted us to collect this purified water but they probably just didn't want us to turn around and sell all of it. This is something they probably Probably just missed in development. What I want to know is, will you use this method after watching this video to get a bunch of caps? There's a lot of things that cost a lot of caps, a lot of unique weapons, like the big boy. There's another one I can't think of right now, but there's a lot of uses for having a lot of caps, and this is very useful. You know, we don't know if Bethesda is going to patch this or not, but does this bother you? Is this kind of an exploit issue for you and your game? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. All right, guys, today we looked at how to make a ton of caps in Fallout 4. And next time we'll cover more Fallout 4 on my channel. So stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. And remember that this is your number one hub for all Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for continued videos. Again, I've got another one coming tonight. And then we are going to continue on our normal schedule of daily Fallout 4. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.